What is up everybody? Welcome back to Tang K. Taylor here and today we're going to be looking at the PC panel. I think it's called the Pro. But this is the PC panel Pro that you can get from I think it's called getpcpanel.com, I, I think. Nice aluminum enclosure, nice and sturdy with a custom etched acrylic panel. That's this whole top front. And then if you can see all the individual slots right here, it's labeled S1 through S4. Actually right here, it's all RGB. So the PC Panel Pro icon down here is RGB. These are all RGB, these are RGB. And you can set it up to, to custom things. So one of my setups, kind of a, the vaporwave setting, is when I slide the knob up or I turn a knob here, as volume increases, the RGB changes or lights up these ones and just depending on what, what I'm using. Got four sliders and five individual knobs that also are buttons with a nice audible click. Um, each slider can be independently controlled. You got the four sliders. So what is this? This is a mixer for your computer. As you can see, there's no outputs on it or inputs except for one singular USB type C. And that is just to plug it into your computer. Then what you do with this kind of like a Go XLR or, you know, any other mixer that you can use out there, then you can set this up within the included software to control pretty much anything on your computer to an extent. So one of the big main features of this is OBS integration. So for instance, I've been using this for a little while. Um, each individual slider you can set up to something. So I have it set up to a input within my OBS. So one would be my mic, which I don't often use just because I have a separate mixer, but a USB essentially capture card for my audio that I use that has independent mic control. The second one I use for whatever game value I'm using, whether it's my PC, so it's a display capture, or the audio coming from that, or it's my Elgato. Um, my HD 60. So just to control the audio there, I can turn it up, turn it off, whatever the case is. Um, my fourth one was a line input. Now it is nothing because I finally figured out PS5 streaming. And then my third one, I don't recall off the top of my head, but we'll open up the PC panel here in a second, the software, and we'll look at it further. And then same thing with up here. You can have these set to individual knobs, sliders, whatever it is. You can set them up to, you know, opacity if that's something you want to do to mute something or whatever the case is. Um, I mainly use this for the audio side of it. I have a stream back that I can control um, different elements of, but technically you could use this. You could set these up as your intermission changes. I actually have this last one right here, the button press. The button press cycles between different profiles on this panel. You might have one profile that technically only has one, two, three, four buttons and four knobs and four sliders. You can press this one, boom. Now you have another complete set of, you know, 12, 12 devices, whatever you have it set up to. All you get in the box is the PC panel itself. But like I said, this is the Pro. They also have the, I think it's the Mini, which is only four knobs and buttons. Um, so essentially just this portion of it, and it's just a little flat of a picture somewhere right here of the, the mini. And it's a little cheaper. The PC Panel Pro, I think right now for pre-order sales is $89, $89.99. I think when I bought it, it was a special pre-order deal. So I think it was $79, but it's coming out in batches. So I think I was either the second or the third wave. I've had it for maybe a month now, but it's coming out in waves kind of like the D brand skin plate things. It's just kind of how COVID's happening is everything's coming out in batches to, in order to meet demand, but it's pretty nifty. Um, like I said, there's OBS integration, voice meter integration. Um, oh yeah, on the back, little rubber feet, whatever I said, to keep it from slipping. And then in the box, all you get is this and you get a USB cable. The USB cables already ran through my whole channel thing. So it's set up right here. So I can just plug it in, but it's you can just use a type C if you need a longer one, or I think it's like a six foot one that it comes with. But let's dive into OBS and let's look at the PC Panel Pro and how I kind of use it in my setup, which I think is probably gonna be one of the most common ones. I don't use it for normal everyday use. You could set this up if you wanna do it with, um, you know, Adobe products, Lightroom, um, 
Premiere, whatever you're using, you could probably set these up to different sliders or knobs more than likely. It's just something I haven't dived into because like I said, I really think this is going after the Go XLR, the um, Avermedia One, and different mixers like that to control your audio because it just seamlessly integrates with your OBS. So I've got PC Panel Pro open, obviously. And turn that down. So I should have my mouse captured. Okay, so this is the free download software and depending whether you have the PC Panel Pro or the Mini, it'll pop up here. One thing with this, is you can have multiple devices. So um, I, it doesn't say a limit on the website. It just says you can hook up as many as you want. So don't know what that means. I don't know how many you can actually connect, but you can have a series of them all doing different things. And uh, you can't see it on my, my desktop audio for my OBS, but you can see me moving S1 here on the left-hand side. And this is how I have the RGB setup. It just it matches my Vaporwave setup. You can have this set to whatever you want and change it there. Like I was saying, the K5, so it's the knob on the right-hand side, is my button press. And you can see when I press the button, it changes, and it changes the whole profile. So this is back to a uh, unicorn vomit, and then back to my Vaporwave. I don't have anything set up on the second profile, but you can also see on the bottom left here where it says main OBS, it's my OBS control. Now it's just regular PC control, whatever I have it set up to, but we'll set it here. So you can click on a knob, so we'll click S1 or a slider, I guess, in this case. And you have your different options. So I have it set to OBS, but you can set it to a device. So default device, whatever. Um, so it it's going to default to your system volume, or you can set uh, whatever device you want within your, your list here that your computer is getting in. So these are all my inputs into my computer. My Line 6, which is for uh, guitar, my Oculus inputs, anything like that. Focus volume. So focus volume is pretty neat what focus volume is is for instance whatever application on your computer you have up so in this case i have pc panel it's controlling that audio if i'm gaming and using my monitor for something else like using ps5 and i have a youtube video playing in the background and that is my my primary application that i am in i can control it's going to assume that that's the focus application and it'll mute that sound or i can put in specific games. So when you launch like a game or something like that, kind of like um, OBS's game capture software, where it just finds a game and puts it up. Similar process, you can do it here. I have mine for OBS audio. Now these are all my inputs to OBS audio. So like I said, there's a couple in here like Smoke. That is a, um, it's just part of my, my starting. Um, I don't really know what it would do there, but I'm just using it for my desktop audio. And settings, which is really cool with logarithmic scaling. So I could put the minimum at like, say I want the minimum to be 50. So I don't ever want the, whatever it is to be muted. I could put it at 50 and obviously max is max. Or if you don't want the max to be max, whatever the case is. Go into the settings real quick, OBS login. It's really simple. You just download a plugin. It installs on OBS and you're good to go from there. Or you can have voice meter control. I don't use voice meter, but if I know a lot of people do use voice meter, boom. You can integrate it with voice meter. We can go to lighting effects and we have full control of our lighting. So each individual knob I have set up for like a vaporwave kind of style, your, your magenta and teal colors. I can individually control the sliders, the logo itself. So real quick, we can see all this. I wonder what happens if I do this. All right, so it didn't change the lighting, but now everything's gonna be unicorn. It took a second. Now everything's going to be rainbow unicorn vomit everything so we can set full body so this is changing the full body of it or you can change the individual knob so it's at rainbow vomit right now what if i want a single color red now my entire pc panel is lighting up red i can have it breathe now you can see it pulsating it's going to exactly display onto the your application as it's showing on the panel itself I wish I could show both, but we'll put it back to rainbow volume. And like I said, you can see all the individual knobs. So let me change it back here because this is how I have it set up. So if you're looking at K3, which is the top left panel right here, K3, you can see I have it set up to as the volume increases, the color changes. So I can kind of keep a visual eye on where the audio is. Same thing with my sliders. I have it gradually going up where you could just have it set on an independent volume. So volume gradient. So when color when 100, color when volume is zero. And sorry if this is boring, guys. I'm just trying to go into detail about this. So that's the PC Panel Pro. Now let's move this over here and let me get 
my OBS software in shot. Okay, so keep an eye on the audio mixer down here. So like I said, for this one, my three is set up to my microphone. So I can keep talking, 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 blah. And then you couldn't hear anything. That's what it's set up for. So let me play some generic video on YouTube real quick. So my channel. So for instance, with this, you can have it set to like Spotify or anything like that. You could have it set up as Spotify. That's your desktop audio. And I can sit here and increase the volume. And I can turn that off. And then my two controls my secondary mic, which I don't know what my secondary mic is. And my third has no option right now, but you get a lot of customization with it. And that's pretty much what you can do with OBS. All right, so that was OBS. Now let's do a quick little uh, fancy montage video, whatever you want to call it right now. So this was an overview of the PC Panel Pro. Um, the mini, just like it, just smaller. You don't have the sliders, anything like that. Um, build quality, fantastic. The only issues with mine, and I, I don't know if other people have this, is like this knob right here, boop, just comes off. And I think it should be a little easier or harder than that, because the other ones I can't pull off, but this one is just a little loose, but it doesn't, doesn't affect anything. I'm not too worried about it, but like I said, $89.99 right now at getpcpanel.com. I'll leave a link in the description below um, if this is something you want to pick up. Like I said, you know, the price there, you got to wait for it, whatever your pre-order batch is. You got to wait for it. But yes, the GoXLR might have a lot more options. And of course, you can run audio into it. But if you already have a mixer, I have a, it's an old, old mixer. I'll, I'll leave a, a link for it somewhere up here. It's for the um, Alias Multimix Four, I think USB. I've had it for years and years. Works fantastic. Phantom power. It's just something I've always had. So I've never, I've never used anything else. So this to control the individual inputs, like I showed you on OBS and the different things you can do with it is fantastic and meets my needs completely. Um, and it's cheap. It's under a hundred dollars, especially right now it's on sale with the pre-order thing. So if I didn't mention it after, I don't know when it doesn't say on the website, but it's going to go up to a hundred dollars. But even then, still a steal for this this guy right here and i'm not getting paid to say this i didn't get sent this i paid for this myself i happened to stumble upon it i think about like some reddit post or something like that and i was like that looks pretty neat let me get my hands on it and give it a shot and it is awesome anyways i'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys for watching the video let me know if this is something you're interested in or if there's other companies out there making something like this that i can maybe try and get my hands on let me know in the comment section below and guys, if you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. That's fine. Just let me know what I can do to improve upon. You know, this is just a hobby for me. I just enjoy doing this, sharing random, you know, gadgets and stuff with y'all. Um, and hopefully you guys, you guys like it. But, you know, subscribe if that's what you want to do. But as always, y'all have a good rest of your day.